most definitely. Not only values, but realizations of life, understanding people, and it's really as if, like, in the last two years, life has just really become different for me. Um, I don't sweat the small stuff anymore. Get over it. I don't worry about all the little things anymore. I find the stuff that is important, I focus on it, and I deal with it. And that is how I'm living life now. Um, I am single, and so I have got to find things that I enjoy. My children are on their own, happy, and now it's time for me. And that's where I'm at right now, at that age. Family, love, understanding of each other, seeing the intricacies of each other's of each other and knowing that just by a look in your eye that you know what the other person thinking or wanting or needing. Um, perfect happiness is also knowing who you are, understanding who you are, accepting who you are, and moving through life with that person. Because there's only, at the end, there's really only just you. That's an easy one for me. I have, when I was um, in 2002, I went back to college. At the time, I was a single mother of two children. I was working a 60-hour job, and I was determined to finish my degree. And um, all the entire time I was going through college, and I've still used it to this day, is this is a temporary situation to a permanent solution. And that's exactly what life is all about. I get up in the morning to make a, a, a difference. Um, my job is very in, intrinsic into the community and I work with the community daily, uh, business community primarily. And I want to make a difference. I want to show somebody a new way to do it. I want to introduce this person to this person and they can make a connection. I want to find something that is important that will affect multiple people but yet in the most positive way that I can. And that's why I get up in the morning. I'm going to say in the last year and a half. Um, I've been through a lot. Life has not been kind to me. Um, and I have found that there are ways that I can make myself happy. I can make myself content. And that is where I've been in the last five, uh, year and a half. Um, it hasn't been uh, the, the easiest and I've still got some struggles I already know coming and that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna take them with my chin up. I'm gonna take them with a smile and move forward with them. Old farts. <laughs> I think that um, I have children that are considered older, older millennials. Um, they're the hardworking kind of millennials. They really have got great jobs and they love what they do. Um, but they are always, oh mom, um, you really, you got to get out of that. You can't do that all the time. So I think they see us as the older generation, which is what we are, but not as quick, not as understanding of everything that they do and that they live with and that they have, you know. Um, the funny thing is, is when we were when they were kids, and I needed to send money to my mother or get it something like that, we had to write a check, drive it over there, give it to her, take it to the bank. Venmo, you got money like that. You know, there's just so many new things out there that we didn't have. They have children now, and they have things that I didn't have when they were growing up. But let me tell you, babies are babies; they don't change. So even the old stuff works. So, you know, we are who we are. That we're all dried up. We are not. We have probably in the best spirit, best energy, best place um, uh, professionally than you're ever going to find. We have got more experience than the younger crowds and we can wipe them under the table and we're not given credit for that. Um, I've been in hotels 
Um, I've worked hotel sales and catering, and I understand the language. So now when I work with hotels for events or something of that nature, I know how to get in and kind of get those little extras because I know how to ask for them, you know. Um, I've been through so many different careers and different things, but we, we have things to offer and people just have to be willing to accept it and look at it and consider it. That's a good one because um, my daughter is, um, I think she's just breathtaking. I think she is just gorgeous. Um, she's always been very confident about the way that she looks growing up. And I don't know, she always says, because she always told me, Mama, that I was beautiful. And I always said, I always told her I appreciate that because I'm glad you listened to that. Um, just take it as you are. There is nobody else on this earth that looks like you, thinks like you, acts like you, and believes like you. Relish in that. Find the soul, find the spirit and the energy in that and live in that because nobody else can ever get there like you can. And there's so much more than beauty. And that's only skin deep. There's so much more inside. It's for me, 150,000% I did it for me. I have never done anything like this. Um, I've told absolutely no one, and I did that on purpose because I don't, didn't want them to know yet. Um, and I wanted to, I am very awkward behind the, in front of the camera. I don't like that. My profession has me being in front of the camera a lot. I wanted to get more comfortable behind it. Um, and I felt this was a good way to do it. And Maggie has been amazing to work with. And she made me feel very comfortable today. And it was for me. It was for me. A lot better. Yeah, just more calm, understanding, and realizing that when I look at a picture of myself that that's me and I have to accept that and I'm going to be good with that and I am good with that. How, was it what I was expecting? Yes. It was amazing. That's exactly what I was expecting and that's exactly what it was. Um, the um, interaction with the camera is something that new to me. I don't do that very often um, and so having to really look into the camera and know that it is capturing exactly who I am at that moment and I'm good with that. I'm, Getting better with that. If you need or you feel insecure about anything about yourself, whether it be something about the way you look, something about the way you feel, something about the way that I have, I have records that run around in my head and it's the most negative stuff I've ever said about myself and it runs around in my head all the time. I have learned to quiet those records and I have learned to, it's not easy, it's taken me 56 years to figure out how to quiet them down, but it ain't going to happen overnight. But I'm learning how to quiet those voices and those negative thoughts and those just horrible things I think about myself and, and the way I see myself and I'm finding so much more peace in myself. Since I've started doing that, um, I, you don't like something I do, get over it. You don't like the way I look, don't look. I mean, I've lived, I've started living in those things and I'm so much happier and I'm so much more relaxed and just at more at peace at myself. So it's, it's worth it. It's hard. It's not fun, but I'm in a place now where it's been, I've wanted to be exactly where I'm at and it feels really good and this has helped me take this has helped me like over 10 steps because this was a huge insecurity for me doing this has taken me already to a whole other level of who i am and i am very humbled by maggie doing this program and i'm proud of myself for offering to do it and willing to do it